are corporations shaping immigration policy and employment practices more than we realize? Let's examine the recent controversy surrounding Tyson Foods. A multinational food conglomerate, Tyson Foods, recently decided to close a pork processing plant in Perry, Iowa, terminating the livelihoods of 1,200 workers after 61 years of operation. This event sparked a firestorm of criticism as it mirrors a broader trend of industrial closures across the United States, impacting local economies and livelihoods. Adding to the controversy, Tyson Foods announced an initiative to hire over 40,000 migrants and asylum seekers, a move that led to calls for a boycott. Critics argue that Tyson is prioritizing immigrant labor over American workers. Yet, the company asserts its hiring practices are legal and part of a commitment to support legal employment. As a multinational food conglomerate, Tyson's actions have sparked a national debate on corporate responsibility. Tyson Foods' initiative to hire over 40,000 migrants has ignited a firestorm of controversy. The decision has been met with backlash, with critics accusing the food conglomerate of prioritizing immigrant labor over American workers. This perspective underscores a growing concern about the balance between corporate interests and the well-being of the domestic workforce. Amid the uproar, Tyson Foods has defended its actions, maintaining that its hiring practices are legal and part of a broader commitment to support lawful employment. The company's stance, however, has not quelled the public outcry. The legal implications of Tyson's actions have also come under scrutiny. America First Legal suggests that Tyson's practices may infringe upon laws designed to safeguard American workers, highlighting the complex legal entanglements that can arise from such corporate decisions. The controversy has raised pivotal questions about the balance between corporate strategies and their implications on the domestic workforce and community well-being. As we dive further into this controversy, we start to notice the potential implications it could have on the U.S. economy and society at large. Corporate decisions, such as those made by Tyson Foods, have the power to affect change in the lives of thousands or even millions. They can potentially mold the future of employment and immigration policies. The public's uproar, coupled with the responses from the company, underscores the intricacies and the fine balancing act required when dealing with such matters. This ongoing debate and the reactions from Tyson Foods and the general populace will undoubtedly steer future conversations on these critical topics.